so hello everyone welcome back to spiral lightning tech and uh, this is my first video after a really long time i believe i am posting this after three years so yeah so in this video i'll tell you guys how you can translate <coughs> japanese dsi menus to english okay please remember this is only about translating the menus and not actually changing the language to, in order to change the language you can obviously go ahead and install the custom firmware and also the twilight menu plus plus okay so let's get started okay so let me show you my nintendo dsi this is a japanese super mario bros 25th anniversary edition nintendo dsi which i got from amazon japan and uh, actually amazon japan is a really cool place if you want to buy the old generation consoles at a uh, um, really good prices so I got this uh, used console for a price of around 5000 rupees and this was after uh, all the custom charges and shipping and all the refunds etc okay so <clears throat> let me let me show you guys how you can uh, actually translate the menus okay so let's say we get in Japanese DSI and we want to change some settings okay but once you open the DSI as you can see all the text which is written here it's in Japanese so you can't possibly read it obviously and you want to know like uh, suppose you get a DSI and you want to update the firmware version okay let me just lower the volume a bit and you want to update the firmware version but you don't know how to proceed because all the menu as you can see in the settings you don't know what these settings mean right so you you want to change these settings and uh, apparently you don't know how to do it okay so uh, one way is that you can either take a reference for example you can take an english dsi and you can look at the menus and you can compare both of them to know you know which which option corresponds to which or on other hand i have a very simple uh, solution for you guys which you can uh, easily do with on with yourself you don't need any reference etc so for that we would be needing a smartphone obviously and in the smartphone i'm i'm currently using android uh, obviously there might be some alternative to in ios as well okay so let me show you just you go to play store and just search for an app known as google lens okay just download this app and install it okay so i have already installed this app so let me just open this app and show you guys so what google lens essentially does is that it uh, can help you with a variety of things for example you can just uh, search any item on the web just by taking a picture of it okay uh, but we are not going to take a picture here we are just we want to actually get our menus translated okay so let me just show you guys so what you can do is you have to click on this button right here so what this will do is it will open the text translation menu okay now I want you guys to point it at the uh men menu the <coughs> japanese japanese written menu so as you can see uh, what what the google lens is doing is it's reading the text which is written in japanese and it is translating it to english okay so let's say i want to get my system updated but i don't know which options to click right so i just scroll it over to another one okay so let me just show you okay so as you can see it says user information date time and alarm okay let's proceed further and and we can see parental control, touch screen, mic test, the internet. And moving further. And, and there you go. You can see the update menu, update of the main body, initialization of the main body. So we want to update. So we'll just click on update. Okay. Now it says something. Okay. So to update the main unit, turn on wireless communication. So as you can see, guys, so it gets pretty easy to, you know, get the settings changed. If you are proceeding, if you are following this, uh, <coughs> following this uh, method, so obviously this is not a permanent solution, but this is just a temporary solution which you guys can do if you buy a Japanese Nintendo DS or any other console and you want to just uh, change the settings because uh, suppose you are okay with playing <laughs> games in Japanese. Uh, obviously, uh, Nintendo DS is not a region locked console, so you can obviously play uh, an English copy of a game on a Japanese DS so yeah but if you want to update the menu and you want to change the menu then you can obviously follow this hack so thank you guys for tuning into my channel i hope this guide helps you 
and please like share subscribe this video if you found it helpful and that's all so see you guys in my next video okay bye bye